Hi guys, this is Arvind from Mind Magics, and today I welcome you all to this amazing session on how to crack NetSuite interview in first attempt. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at the agenda for today's session. Okay, so first we'll quickly discuss what exactly is NetSuite, and then we will have a look at the question why at all you should learn NetSuite. After that, we will have a look at the various career paths of NetSuite and the skills that you must acquire in order to have a successful career in NetSuite. Okay, after that we are going to have a look at the important certifications and the importance of certifications in general for your career. Okay, and lastly, we will conclude this session by addressing this important question, how to improve NetSuite skills or how you can, what steps you can take to crack the NetSuite interview in the first attempt itself. Okay, I hope everyone is clear with this agenda. So let us begin with our first point, which is what exactly is NetSuite? So NetSuite is a unified business management suit encompassing ERP, financials, e-commerce, and CRM for more than 24,000 customers. Okay, so it is a cloud-based ERP software that helps the enterprises or you can say the companies achieve business growth and you can improve your progress by efficiently optimizing business processes. Okay, so it automates the business processes with high-end benefits in a cloud platform. Okay, so you must be knowing that cloud is the upcoming, you can say the boom or the next big thing in the IT industry. Okay, so Oracle NetSuite is always ahead in forcing the business requirements and it assists the organizations with the integration of NetSuite ERP. Okay, so this software simplifies core business processes including CRM, which is nothing but customer relationship management, financials, inventory, HR, professional services automation, and much more. And all of this happens using a single fully integrated system. Okay, so this was a quick overview of what exactly is NetSuite. So guys, let's move ahead with the next point. And here we are trying to know why at all you should learn NetSuite. Okay, so NetSuite is one of the top business management solutions right now. So investing your valuable time in developing your NetSuite skills is definitely a good option for graduates or even the experienced professionals. Okay, so if you talk about NetSuite, so Gartner has ranked NetSuite as a leader for cloud core financial management systems. Okay, and you must be knowing that cloud roles are among the top 10 most in demand IT roles in the current scenario. Okay, and if you upgrade your skills by learning NetSuite, so that is definitely a shortcut to success, I can say. Okay, so what you can do is you can spend some time in exploring what exactly is NetSuite. You can gain hands-on experience. You can have a look at the various job openings that are available for NetSuite. And I must say that there are a lot many openings available in India as well as in US for NetSuite. Okay, so that way you can decide whether based upon the skill set that you have and the skills that you need for this role. So you can analyze whether you are a good fit or you can have a career in NetSuite or not. Okay, so if you talk about the salary, so as you can see here in the US itself, the average salary for a NetSuite professional is more than 90,000 US dollars per annum. Okay, so in India also, the starting salary for a NetSuite professional is around 4 lakhs per annum and with experience, it can go to up to 8 to 10 lakhs per annum. Okay, so this purely depends upon the skill set and the experience that you have. Okay, now we are going to cover the next point, which is what are the various career paths that are available for NetSuite professionals. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, these are the various career paths that are available. So initially what you can do is you can start your career as a NetSuite administrator. Okay, so NetSuite administrator is a very entry level or you can say the basic role for a NetSuite professional. Okay, so by having the skills which are required for NetSuite administrator, you can start your career and slowly by gaining the experience and sharpening or gaining new skills, what you can do is after like say a couple of years, you can switch to different job role such as NetSuite developer. Okay, so after being a NetSuite developer or after being promoted to NetSuite developer, what you can do is you can still work for a few years, like two, three years. Okay, and after that, you can switch your role to NetSuite consultant. Okay, so now there are two types of consultants over here. One is technical consultant and the another one is functional consultant. Okay, so the skill set, it varies for both of these roles. Okay, so we are going to discuss what are the skills that are required 
for NetSuite in the later part of this session. Okay, so after working here for a few years, your next ideal promotion would be NetSuite Technical Lead. Okay, so a NetSuite Technical Lead must have at least experience of six to eight years. Okay, so that is the amount of experience and the skills that you must have. So Technical Lead is basically someone who's managing five to six NetSuite consultants or developers or administ administrators under him or her. Okay, so managing, team managing and executing projects, that is the main role of technical lead. Okay, after that, what you can see is, here the next promotion would be NetSuite Architect. Okay, so NetSuite Architect is someone who has at least 10 years of experience in NetSuite. Okay, so these are the various career paths or you can say the career roles that you can have with NetSuite. Okay, now let's move ahead with the next very important point which is the skills. Okay, so what are the skills that are required for having a successful NetSuite career? Okay, so here we have classified the skills into two categories. The first one is the general skills and the second one is the technical or the specialized skills. Okay, so first we'll discuss about the general skills over here. Okay, so the first point over here is problem solving skills. Okay, so guys, NetSuite is just one particular, you can say technology or the career option. So for any career option, this point is very important, problem solving skills. Are you able to solve problems in real life? Okay, so tools or technology are just a medium to solve the problem. Okay, so learning tool or technology is not the ultimate thing. The ultimate thing is solving the problems that you have. Okay, so this is another, or you can say this is one of the most important skills that you must have. Okay, then the second point over here is the technical aptitude. So what do you mean by technical aptitude? So technical aptitude means ability to learn and apply the technical knowledge that you have. Okay, so the technical knowledge could be anything like programming language or you can say databases. Okay, so all of these things, they come under the technical aptitude. So the ability to learn new technical things and apply them. Okay, so that is the meaning of technical aptitude. Okay, the next point over here is critical thinking. Are you able to think critically? Okay, so critical thinking is very important because you know, with critical thinking, you are able to gather the steps or the knowledge which is required for solving the problem. Okay, so that comes under critical thinking. After that, the next one is communication skills. Okay, so guys, having skills or knowledge is not important. You must also be able to communicate it to your peers or your higher management or your manager or whatever. Okay, so basically you must be able to communicate whatever knowledge that you have to other people. So that comes under communication skills. So this includes both verbal and written communication skills. Okay, so the next point is constant desire to learn. Okay, so this is another important point because guys, you must be knowing that IT is a very dynamic industry. So there are a lot many changes happening every month or every year in the IT industry. There are new things coming up, new technologies coming up, new programming languages coming up. Okay, so you must be always on your toes to learn new things or new technologies or new platforms or you can say any programming language for that matter. Okay, so you must be constantly curious and you must have that desire to learn new things. Okay, and the last point over here is the domain knowledge. Okay, so what do you mean by domain knowledge? So if you talk about NetSuite, so its main highlight or you can see its main application is in the financial industry or you can say the finance domain. Okay, so this way it is important to have domain knowledge. Like if you have five to six years of experience, you'll be having, you must have good domain knowledge. Okay, so initially in the initial phase of your career, it is not mandatory, but it is always an added advantage if you have a domain knowledge. Okay, and now coming to the technical skills or the specialized skills, here you must have the knowledge of web development. So what do you mean by web development? So here you must have knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery. Okay, so this is the web development. And after that, you must have knowledge of software development. Okay, so what do you mean by software development? Here I mean the programming languages. Okay, so programming languages, you can have any programming language like Java, Python, C, C++ and so on. Okay, so if you have knowledge of any one language, you can easily learn another language as per the requirement or your demand of the job. Okay, so 
software development is learning new programming languages developing new applications okay so that all comes under software development apart from this if you talk about java here you must also include design patterns okay so that also comes under software development object oriented programming okay so this all comes under the software development okay apart from this you must have knowledge of apis okay so what do you mean by apis so api stands for application programming interface you must be able to develop apis how to use them how to integrate them in your applications okay so you must have overall working knowledge of apis after that you must also have knowledge of web services so what do you mean by web services so here web services is xml soap okay soap soap so you must have working knowledge and hands on experience with web services as well after that you must have hands on experience with netsuite such as suite builder suite flow suite analytics and all of the other components of netsuite okay after that you must have hands on experience with databases okay so guys beat any it role having database knowledge is very important okay so you must have at least knowledge of one database which can be anything like mysql sql oracle postgres and so on okay and the last point over here is the project management skills okay so this point is generally applicable for folks who have at least 5 to 6 years of experience so project management experience is very important if you want to quickly climb the corporate ladder in netsuite okay so this was all about the skills related to netsuite so guys the next point over here is netsuite certifications okay so these are the certifications that you must aim for related to netsuite so guys having certification is not mandatory i would first prefer skills any day over certifications but the very important advantage is of having certification is that if you want to stand out from the crowd like guys any company or any employer these days they receive thousands of resume for one particular position okay the it industry is so competitive so what you can do to stand out among thousands of resumes so if your resume has certifications related to the technology or the role that you are applying for so that will quickly catch the attention of the employer or the recruiter okay so that is the biggest benefit or highlight of having netsuite certifications so related to netsuite we have certifications such as administrator suite foundation suite commerce developer suite cloud developer and erp consultants okay so as i have already told you in the career paths administrator is a very basic certification and apart from that soup foundation is also a basic or the entry level certification that you must aim for once you have this certifications you can land any entry level job related to netsuite okay after that once you land a entry level job related to netsuite what you can do is you can aim for certifications such as soup commerce developer and soup cloud developer okay so once you have any one of these certification like you gain some experience of 4 to 5 years and then you can aim for certification such as erp consultants okay so this was all about the certifications related to netsu now we will be discussing the last point of this session which is what are the steps that you must follow to land a netsu job or what you can do to improve the skills related to netsu okay so the first and foremost step over here is exploring the netsu education and resources okay so with netsu i already told you what are the skills that you must have and if you talk about the education and resources so here you must aim for any online or offline course related to netsu okay so course is a very good option to begin your netsu journey okay so you can there are lot many options available these days both online and offline for certification course in netsu okay so you can grab any one of them and you can get started and after that as i have already discussed you have to develop the skills and you must have the right attitude in order to crack the job or you can with right attitude you can easily crack any interview related to netsu okay so once you have the education the resources the skills and right attitude what you can do is next next you can aim for internships okay so training basically means going for online or offline training okay after that what you can do is you can go for internships so guys for any technical role what you can do is you can go for 6 3 to 6 months of internships so with internship the only difference between internship and a full time employee is that the roles and responsibilities and the duties are all of the same 
It's just a difference of title. Okay, so here an intern and a full-time employee will be one and the same for the company. Okay, so the both of them will be assigned same responsibilities, same duties and same tasks. Okay, so internship is a way of company to check whether you really have those skills, that attitude to convert into a full-time employee. Okay, so if you go for an internship in a particular company and if you successfully stay there for three to six months, then company, like majority of the companies, they themselves will offer you full-time roles in their companies. Okay, so this is another important step that you must follow. After that, once you go for an internship, there you can explore and gain hands-on experience, more hands-on experience with the NetSuite roles and the responsibilities that you have. Okay, after that, if at all you are continuing with your internship, what you can do is you can prepare your resume, you can add that internship experience, you can add your projects, you can add your skills in the resume, and you can start applying or uploading them on the various employer portals, or you know, you can even ask your friends to share your resume with their companies, or your friends can refer you. Okay, so this is the fifth step where you can prepare and share your resume, or you can start applying for the roles online. Okay, and once you apply for the NetSoup jobs, what you can do is you can start getting calls from the companies. Okay. So with certifications, as I told you, you'll be easily shortlisted for the interviews. And now once you get shortlisted, so it is totally up to your skills, your attitude, and how do you perform in the interview? So that way you can easily crack the job. Okay. So these are the various steps that you must follow to land a NetSuit job. Okay. So guys, with this, we have come to the end of this session on how to crack NetSuit interview in the first attempt. I hope this session was helpful to you. Thank you so much for being with us. And if at all you have any queries related to this session, then you can write your queries in the comments box. And my team is here to help you with all your doubts and queries. Okay, so guys, I wish you all the very best for your upcoming interview. Thank you so much for being with us and have a good day.